Israel is continuing its barbaric genocide in Gaza with over 70 casualties in the past 24 hours in over six massacres that they committed just in the past day. We've had attacks on schools, on houses, on civilian buildings, and the Palestinian resistance isn't getting affected one bit. We spoke about the very top-level operation that the Palestinian resistance conducted when they invaded Israel from the eastern part of Rafah successfully and then they withdrew. Reports said that some of them were killed and some of them safely managed to escape. Today, we've had intense battles across the central part of Gaza and the southern part of Gaza. In the southern part of Gaza, the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine Al-Qasim forces, they attacked Israeli forces with an RPG. In the central province, in Deir al-Balah in particular, we have had an intense day from Al-Qassam brigades against dozens of Israeli tanks, vehicles, and forces with primarily Yassin 105 RPG shells. Another significant attack was carried out by the PIJ, the armed wing of the PIJ, Saraya Al-Quds, where they attacked the base of the Gaza division in the Israeli army. That was the main division that was attacked and taken down on the 7th of October. They attacked their command base in Ra'im, again signaling that they have the capacity not only to defend but also to attack. Yet, Israel is not stopping or reviewing any of, the, of these activities in Gaza, and they've even called 50,000 additional reservists to potentially participate either in Gaza or in Lebanon. All indications lead to the conclusion that, that we are seeing an escalation in the area, and it will most likely be with Lebanon.